going above you, man. Uh. Mm. I was here the whole time. Good morning, Faye. Feel good. Mm. I feel her thoughts, feelings. I won't ask. I'm gonna go it's, check on the young lord. It's taxing on her body right now, coming, becoming aware of everything. <clears throat> Does she look like she's getting better, or? Yeah. We should get some water in you. Yeah. Deep down, her thoughts the are still Wash your face. cloudy. You look worse for wear than I am. Health-wise, it seems to be okay. She seems stable. She just seems to... break out in some cold sweats every now and again when her mind is uneasy to <coughs> be living things that... she tried to forget. Things that broke her. <sighs> things that I'll have to work through with her. Hopefully every time I meditate with her... enter her mind so to speak. I'm hoping to bring her out of it. I won't pretend like oh. I understand what that means, but if it's working, then good. Do you need anything else? She's not dying, not yet. Uh, not really the start of the morning. Um, I was going to see what Marcus is up to. I was going to help him put some of the furniture together downstairs and... Uh, Probably start potting some of the plants that uh, I think Lisa had gotten some flowers the other day. Start potting those and put those <clears> down there. Good. Then you have some oxygen. Good. So I need to get some of my oil out of my box downstairs and fill up the oil lamps from below that we put downstairs. Morning, Tiberius. Hey, my lord. How are you? Could be better, far better. Put this on. Plans for today? Ah, uh, few discussions and whatnot. One with you mainly, if you have the time. Sure. Of course, if, if you're not too well busy. <laughs> Let's get it out of the way before a million people want to talk to me. Yeah, we go upstairs. By your leave. Yeah. Um, also, um, Tyler, just a word of advice. In the crate here, if anything were to happen, there's two tier two healing potions and two tier antipoisons in here. Okay? Just Understood. keeping it in this room just <clears throat> in case you need it. Smart. Well done, Faye. Hmm. Let me go 
What's on your mind, Tibbs? Give me a moment to collect my thoughts really there? quickly. <clears throat> you still there? Oh, there it is. Okay. Can I go over it real quick? Oh, there it is. Now, now I've done it. That's so weird. Okay. Let's go see what the end is. This is definitely no place for you. Get you back to your dad soon, don't worry. Downstairs and get a drink of water. Or see if, uh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Of course. Okay. Uh, Alright. Wow. Well. A few things developed over the night. You doing some early morning reading? Oh, good morning. Um, yes. Servants of Ash have been spotted within the city. Night. I lost. Mm. Decided to take in some. Mm. That's not good. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Marcus. Saw, saw them and then and I helped confirm it with him. <sighs> okay. It must have come just after the Inquisitor or something. Okay. Just making sure. More than likely, yes. <clears throat> Good chances are they were also the ones I spotted the other night, skulking between the rooftops. Still need to get those plants I wonder what their intention is. They're a pretty big thing to sure. use. If you need any help, I'm here. Okay. Yes. Uh, here, Lisa. You can come with me. There is something else yes, as well. Yeah. Apparently, what the Inquisitor had asked Mark to question. Have to fix that later. <laughs> That's a double C. Oh, About a Mr. Gamble. Yeah. Go on. Marcus apparently <coughs> has confirmed he was aware of this individual to the Inquisitor, and then nothing further developed, but I fear that he might have brought at least a target, at least more, in this direction. To himself, especially. Byron Gamble is not related to what we're trying to do here. At the very least, if the Inquisitor is looking in that direction, maybe we can slip by with what we're doing, but you are right. It is bringing eyes where we don't want eyes. <clears throat> He's getting bold. He had, uh... I think the boldness will only grow more and more. How do we use that to our advantage? You must feel confident about something. Otherwise you wouldn't be taking these risks. Bringing servants of Ash to a foreign country, that's hard to explain. <clears throat> Not necessarily. You... No offense, my lord, but the, right now the barons are so indebted to the imperials that it's a number we can't even count. This is true. 
that they have agents, so to speak, acting in imperial interests. <clears throat> Who's to say they say no? Not knowing their full intent and what they are. Definitely not in a position to decline. Yeah, this is not good. Have you told my father yet? No, I had actually spoken to him last night about the uh, servants of Ash arrival. Oh. He seemed preoccupied, though. Oh? I was cleaning a sword. I see. I'm not sure what we can do about it right now. There's not much way we can counter this. There's something else. That developed last night. I have debated speaking of it, but... Considering how much we have shared among yourselves, it feels only right that I speak of it. The candle wood, which is good. Uh, hmm. The pots are ready down there. We just need to. I need to Last night I made contact there. with a very if we can, precarious we group, to say the least. Some flowers. Uh, probably talk to the uh, individuals who are responsible to the threats to the tavern. Actually, some soil from the farm and mix it with some of their sh fertilizer you get from the farm. Don't ask how, <laughs> but I was able to at least right. gain a meeting. Well, as far as I've been My purpose was trying to, from what the information I had at the time, were there were soldiers and knights and cell swords who had left the robber baron and also were no longer loyal to the well, dog. Radical individuals who are I'm wanting to cause that, pain to uh, both sides of the Imperials and the Redons at this point in time. I, know you have some of it here and stuff. We can maybe go I was hoping to have some of them there and start convert, so to speak, look for a new light. At this time, manpower is a must. <clears throat> but if they hate the Redons and the Imperials, that's a hard sell. But they don't like the Robber Baron? Um, <laughs> And hopefully I'll run into Apparently they have left the robber baron in its totality. Me, I can't leave the walls. That is strange. He normally has a charismatic iron grip on his men. Um, I might tell Daniel to ride my horse around town a little bit, give it some exercise. Since I'm not the individuals I'd met, the stature, <coughs> the, the way they spoke, they were all men of dignity. Dignified, to say the least. They were knights, at least once upon a time. Why is she on a horse? That's an easy way to get away, kind of thing. And the man I had met was the one who actually kidnapped me once already. How did that go? Hopefully. About as well as you thought. But. I feel like you're leading up to something. Speak your mind. I had managed to convince them that I would take their place. The man I had met was skilled from what I saw, fast in his movements, sword was swift, even in the dark, and I had met him two nights before he met me today, last night. This man moves through the city and out with ease, and he is driven <laughs> to kill the barons oh, God, and fancy. drive the imperials out. Yeah. People, but... but he has no intention of hurting the baroness for some odd reason, which is strange to me. At least lately, in my line of work, I told I convinced myself. He would be <clears> a fool's <throat> this person have a name? <sighs> I mean, I could. Literally have uh, my last go at. For the life of me, I'm forgetting this on the top of my head right now. I should have remembered. I forgot I to do that. But. <clears throat> Tell me I later. I think it was Rial. Rial. I see. And don't you want to ever have a son? Pass on. <sighs> okay. Oh, gosh. What do you suspect or suggest we should do oh, about this? <clears throat> you wanted to convert him? Keep it quiet for now. Golden hair 
Marcus Brennan. I don't think we can, to be honest. <laughs> we can direct him, another maybe. Me, another himbo. But I would be acting as a point of contact. Right now, he has no admiration for the Hot House whatsoever. Hmm. He's even warned me he's starting to see me as a threat from our connections and dealings. Like the tale I try to emulate. It's a kind of thing. Okay, so. Well, in my line of work, fantasy. What's the play here? Reality. Plus, if I wanted someone here, I'd have to tell them. Hey, I'm I'm going away. That depends how we want to look at this. To be honest, I can maintain con contact. contact. Maybe hope for a chance of conversion of some of his men. Whoever it is, if they actually. Turning a new leaf, so to speak. We could have them less so if they don't don't want to be part of the the Redons, nor the well Imperials, for that matter. For judgment, there is always well the religious path, so to speak. There's food for thought there. But that comes with a lot of extra steps before we can even reach that point. What about but <coughs> there's also the option of anyone? gain trust well. and then find the point to eliminate. Why did that port me on Let the Imperials have their way with them. It is an option. Yeah, after serving our years, you settle Could down. be a good bargaining chip, but... So weird. Either way, it seems that it's going to be a prolonged contact thing for you. Keep up with them. Keep an eye on them. They'll want something from me in return. Guaranteed. Any idea what that would be? I'm standing next to the Arrowhead house right now. <sighs> There's even a door unlocked. A test of trust at that. Shoulder. There's a lot of risk engaging in contact, yes. Not to mention they are the ones threatening the tavern. I have confirmed it. We can't risk this operation, unfortunately, even if it means gaining your trust with them. <clears throat> that was weird. I'm trying to get into my I had no intentions of that whatsoever. Of the that was weird. And by the sounds of it, they're more interested in the barons and the imperials than the baroness, so we have nothing to fear on that front, at least. So to speak, so they claim. All right, let's um, let's wait until Arn's out and about, and then we can run this up with him. I honestly am not sure how to attack this. <clears throat> I would recommend the less who know are better. I think it's around that I have spoken to you and your father about this. My life would be put at risk very quickly. Well, you can trust myself and Arn, but if you feel it necessary. Mm. I, mean, I don't like doing this with behind his back, especially when it's <laughs> is sorry, as important as it is. I guess some would consider Marcus his real. No, I'm quite fine with alerting. I'm just wanting uh, the circle to remain small. That's my only intention. I won't be telling anyone. Isn't that expensive? <laughs> yeah, it took me a while. Appreciate it. Do you have spider silk? Oh yes, I had a very interesting night. Yes, sounds busy. Um. I thought I was like well, I napped so that I could stay up for the late shift. This one got dropped off and kept tossing and turning until she eventually fell asleep and she's been quiet ever since. I don't know how to look after a child, so I'm just glad I don't have to do anything. I just hold it. That sounds. Trust me, the smell will pick up quite soon. That's when I get off to Venora. I don't know what the rate is now <laughs> for it. Uh, Speaking of which, a couple of silver mm. per bolt. Of Come here, you. Oh, yeah. bolt. Let's go check on the others and uh, do our loop around the city. Okay. Sound good? Why you leave then? But it's, it's good if, like, say you were. By the way, when did you want to begin your lessons? <sighs> lessons. Then it could look like plain clothing. Yes, you would ask me. Being curious them. about understanding our language. Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, whenever we get free, I suppose. I think uh, I'll stick to the armor. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Time will be late to tomorrow. As much as I'd love to be in lesson yeah. plan together. Mm. Knock, knock. <sighs> Wow, you got really far ahead. Yes, uh, if I can, I'll some take some time to write up a few lessons door. plans. <laughs> of course. Of course. Tell him <sighs> we want ten silver for entry. Oh, my God. Well, that's one way to get rich quick. <laughs> but right. I'm trying to make the Gwen's money. They need <clears throat> money. <laughs> yes? I need to head out. Can I leave her in your hands? Oh, what? Oh, yes. The baby. Yes, yes, yes. Before she gets yes, stinky, yes, yes. I don't know how to handle that. <clears throat> Good luck. Oh, gosh. We'll I be... don't know how to handle that. Actually, speaking of which, I'll probably change her right now. I should probably learn how to do that. The but... Yeah. Come on, Tiberius. <laughs> it's a quite an easy, easy process, my lord. I'm sure you'll figure out how. Yeah, it's not that I've fought... Grey Orcs, Red Orcs, Regular Orcs, Imperials, Servants of Ash, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Killers mm -hmm. in the Night, uh, in the wash barrel. and that shit scares me more than facing down a hundred of each of those. Oh, yes, you should be. <laughs> but you'll have to embrace it one way or another. <clears throat> <sighs> I don't want to be a father yet. Uh, Tang is here for you. For me? Also, good morning, Malin. Good morning. <clears throat> mm -hmm. How can I help, Tang? Well, you or your father. <laughs> Mainly, I need your secondary profession. Also, your, your primary one, but the second way one, mostly. Sure, what do you need? How can I help? You shouldn't loiter by the door. <clears throat> okay, good. Nobody messed with it while I was tempering. No, they were. I was worried about warping, but it seems to be okay. Ah, that. I actually can also point out, but. <clears throat> You're aware that I have a magnifying glass for an eye, right? I am now. Well, it's how I'm able to make such precise measurements. Anyways, I have some schematics. That I would require you or your father's help with fabricating. Okay. So, Lay it on me, homie. This is that thing you were showing before, huh? The, um, steel yes. twisted thing. Yep, the cabling. Right. <clears throat> In addition to the grappling hook and launching mechanism. Okay, that would be like a crossbow, wouldn't it? Or something bigger. You couldn't throw it? No, actually. No? Here. He turns the page over and shows how it actually integrates with his own arm. Yeah, this is very unsettling, Tang. What? Well, it, How's it unsettling? I don't normally, like, doing this job, I don't normally, like, you know, replace someone's hand with a hook and, like, a t thing. No, it's, it, it's not a replacement. It's an attachment. Just like this is. Right, okay. Did, did you... Did you not know that this came off? No. Never seen it off. Well, I could take it off for you if you wanted me to, but I don't really want to right now. I just now. thought it was but part of your armor. Anyways. This... It, it is. It's integrated with my forearm so that I'm able to more intricately work it. But this integrates in the same way, or at least a similar one, utilizing the pistons of my inner arm to be able to launch it out and hook onto something and move. Okay. All I've done, I have the brakes and everything necessary to cushion and make sure that everything doesn't fall apart from the forces alone. I just need the metal bits, the housing, the hook itself, the cabling, and the winch. <clears throat> Housing, hook, cabling, winch. Okay, well the cabling is going to be interesting, you might have to help me with that. This mm. winching bit. Well, it just needs to be rotating, really. Yeah, you've... 
You've made the similar bits anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, when do you want to do that? Now, or...? Whenever you're available. I usually do a quick loop around town to make sure everyone's okay, but... I suppose I could... get started at least. Get the forge well, ready. If you, have a, if you... If you have a safe place I can tuck this, I can give you the schematics to work off of whenever you're available. And then whenever you need to do the cabling, I can... Come by and assist. Okay. Um, I can tuck it inside the house and then just look at it as I need it. All right. All right, I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. I'll work on it today in my spare time or over the night, but that cabling is going to be a little fucky, so we should work on that together for sure. Dad? I can do that. Oh, I... All right, should I change? Yes. Understood. I'll be right back. Again, I seek out the dangers, not the dangers. speak with her. Uh, she needs any uh, goods from the farm. Salsif, if you would take Mr. Harry to see Miss Venora. By your will. Huh. They were at the workshop when I last checked. Get your horse, son. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Also, one other thing. I was going to be working on something for one of Nozos' slaves, Baka. If you can bring that up to her, I would like her permission to do so. Otherwise... <sighs> what are you working on? Do shit. Uh, prosthetic fin. One of Akka's, I believe, lower legs is damaged. I'll bring it up. I'll try to help out. If it comes up. Good luck, Let's my go lords. Get our... Thank you. Let's go get our imperial counterpart. Hardly a counterpart, more of a thorn in the side. I don't disagree. It's a marvel side to see you. Good day. Morning. Good day, Mr. Shulman. Oh, oh my god. Oh, don't die. Uh, don't that's die. That's looking. Oh. Oh. Lord. Sergeant. Lord. The Major and the Lady. Small Council. Okay? Indeed, they're already at the keep, uh, keep at this moment, I, mm, Lord. I can't look oh. directly at you for so some much reason. for solidarity. Thank you. Okay, how about over here? Is the over here about there? Those fuckers. 
This is all it's been while you've been away. Dario taking jabs whenever he can. Not surprised. No. You need that. Bloody show someone opens the gates! <sighs> Won't be surprised if we told them to shut it. <laughs> Just to make us late. Say the word, I'll climb the wall. That'd, that would be, funny. that'd be a great look, wouldn't it? You know what? I don't give a shit, do it. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Good job. Apologies. It appears that our people weren't awake. <sighs> I saw what you did, and it mattered to me. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Okay. Be right back. You won't need to socialize for long. For you over the clinic. We got a messenger ahead of time. So we're here. Someone happened to close the gate behind you. Don't know who that was. Shall we? is going to be 
be when I see you. Are we expecting trouble? Follow my lead. Very well. Be aware of the room. Same old, same old. Ladies, Lord Erdhart, my barons. It seems that we are all here. Let us get this underway. Waste no time. Agreed. The first pressing issue I want to discuss is how we should bolster our military. We've taken severe losses, and the remaining manpower is left wanting. I have some ideas, but I'd like to hear from all of you first. Thing is, Baron, I have mercenaries. I don't exactly have an army. I can only do so much. How many would you say that you have, if you had to guess? dozen at this point. Paula, are you able to provide anything? I can provide wagons, but I have no soldiers whatsoever. Everyone that I've had is dead or wounded beyond the ability to fight. I can get your soldiers where I see. Gaunt, what is the status with the merchants? Anything they could provide in terms of funding? Currently none. I can no longer wrangle any support from them as the current state of things has them in an uproar. So currently, there's no more gold coming in. <sighs> Great. We've hit the crescendo, though, my barons, of this conflict. Well, the merchants themselves might be upset with what was prolonging, draining resources from them. They should be able to be made to be seen that the horizon is yet nigh. The robber baron is soon to be unseated, at least from the main road and tell or keep, from what the major was saying. If that's the case, that the main tradeway will be open. We'll be making coin soon enough. Perhaps there Any insight to that, Major? No. The route will be open by the end of the day. The longer we discuss here, though, the longer that waits to happen. I see. You are that confident you were able to take the uh, forces by this afternoon. Indubitably. Fair enough, ma'am. With me are men who have lost their closest confidants and allies, all sitting in the bottom of the strait. They're furious. They want the traitor's head, and they'll have it. <coughs> Suppose that brings up the question, then, if you do intend to take them by this afternoon, exactly how effectively am I expecting you to perform in this act? I would assume you are not intending to throw your men like sticks <clears throat> against a stone wall. As I've been informed, the barony is quite fond of how the conscripts have been acting. I would petition another conscription form today of those who would volunteer to be the spearhead. To take Tello Keep. 
assisting them from all sides will be my Imperium. And the keep will be yours, fair and amen. Lord Erhard, I would ask of your Thou. opinion on this matter. These conscripts fail to spearhead yet again. Would you have faith in them for their success? <clears throat> The conscripts in my absence were led by my son. These irregulars have performed admirably. It does not matter who was witness to it. They were met with success. They maintained the front of the line in front of the Imperium and took the objective securing them for our allies to batten down the hatches, so to speak, once it was fully secure. I believe it would be good for the morale of our people to see Radard loyalists spearheading the efforts to take back what belongs to the Radard dynasty. But I do have concerns about how the keep is to be taken. They cannot be bombarded into dust. The fortification is still necessary to guard the main road from the Vapets. You wish to take Tonal Keep without any form of artillery support, to climb the walls instead. You realize how many lives will be lost, Redod and Imperial alike. That's you a know I'm no stranger to a siege, Major, but I'm saying tactical use of what you have available to you to avoid destroying the fortification in totality. You're asking for a cautious hand, the same cautious hand that the robber baron never offered the barons or my men. Everyone in this room understands that the Vapex are <clears throat> a threat. And I'm not exactly sure in what capacity the Imperium will be allowed to wage war against an official house of Gradia. A rebellion is one thing, but another dynasty. For all we know, you could be told to stand down. And if we have no keep watching the main causeway, We'll be right back to where we were with the robber baron. Valid point, Erdhard, but why worry so much about a keep if you station Redod and Imperial troopers there? The Vapex would not dare march into the territory with both of our military might. They will if they're standing amongst rubble. Keep. I think what the good Lord Arnoff is trying to say, or at least suggest, is by tactical use of artillery, one wall, a breach, leave the rest of the fortification standing. If we can get through one breach in the palisade and one breach in the walls, then we wouldn't need to turn it into dust. This would still come at a heavy cost, but then again, what are loyalists for? They've proven useful twice so far and have not failed. The walls cannot be breached. Oh, greedy the palisade condition. can easily Lord be repaired. Up. It is but wood. I am listening. I'll agree to this farce plan of yours. But I petition to the barons that if we're going to waste so many lives on Talor Keep today, that whatever remains of Talor Keep is occupied by Redod and Imperial assets. I'll hold my vote for now, until I hear your words, brother. Both Redod and Imperial, your thoughts? To be frank, I don't think it is a good idea. While we are grateful for everything the Imperium has done for us, I don't think that any more being... Then what was the purpose of withholding your vote if you've already decided, brother? I have not decided, but I know your answer. 
just curious to see whether or not you cared about our borders. While we are grateful for what the Imperium has provided, it will be a slow recovery for us. I do not want to bite off more than we can chew in terms of favors taken. With all due respect, Baron Kovaz, the Imperium is expecting a great wealth from this endeavor aiding you as allies, and I know the coffers are dry. Tunnel Keep as a joint occupation will show the entirety of Grodia that the Bredard stand with one of the strongest military mights in Azera. You would throw Most that away of with Grodia did not want Imperial embassies within their provinces. Yes, the Imperium is not liked within Grodia. This was... also brings us back to the point of if we are to come into contact with the Vapex, will the Imperium even be allowed to fight against another Gradian house? If they are to be stationed in Tel or Keep, that means nothing if they have to stand down when the main aggressor comes through. All I am this suggesting is, is payment to the Imperium. It'll come one way or another, my barons. It is how you choose for it to be paid out. Get ahead of the game or fall behind. Makes a valid well, point. You've had speak, Baron. I don't think that we should choose to have our main tradeways occupied by a foreign entity. We've already gone through that the past few months. We don't know no, what tomorrow may bring, what sort of disagreements and wealth distribution with our current temporary allies may put in their heads tomorrow. Tellor must be held by Redod men and nothing more. They can have the embassy. Still stands, I believe. It does. <coughs> but it is up to the barons how they wish to pay the Imperium when this is all said and done. That is when it is all said. There is one pressing question, however. Back to our success of if we take Telenor Keep. As you said, if things do not go as planned, many lives will be lost, and I wish to not let that happen. I will ask the young lord, <clears throat> as you have led several successful campaigns, do you believe that you can breach the palisades, breach the walls, and take the keep swiftly and efficiently? The, the conscripts that have fought alongside me have been nothing short of amazing in these fights. They've stood with me, they've done as I've asked. They are... This would be the hardest fight probably in most of their lives. I have faith that we can do it, but it's a question of how many we lose doing it. Your confidence is good. But yes, none of us can stray, stray away from the fact that we will lose many lives taking this keep if we intend to not claim a pile of rubble. Mr. Mursk, do you think you'd be able to convince some of your mercenaries with contracts, if they were paid for by the dynasty, obviously when possible, to take up some of the defensive positions in shifts at Tell or Keep once it is conquered? I absolutely believe that can be arranged. It is my hope that they would believe it to be a simple contract that pays decently once we are able. They'll have no reason not to take it, correct me if I'm wrong. Easy money is good money to a mercenary. Nikki! Well, it looks like that the main causeway is going to remain open and stay open. 
Do you think that you would be able to convince the merchants to work alongside Holla and her remaining carts and try to shuttle whatever goods they have remaining to whoever it is nearby that will buy them, even if it is the Vipex? We need the coin. Once I get messengers out there, that I can do in making sure those merchants work with Holla, but the main problem is the bridge. It's still up. It needs to be lowered if we are going to be access to the rest of Gradium. Well, that's the problem. That's where you and Hala come in. We're not going to be able to trade with the rest of Gradia, thanks to the Narian Bridge. But there is Bell Shoy to the far north. That is true. I can see what I can do. It might behoove some of the merchants given that they won't be dealing with Imperial tariffs from the docks. Even more reason to keep that road open, Barons. Would there be any, any sense in sending the wagons instead to Corano to gather the remaining supplies present there. It would be it... the best way to get coin back in. Every bit we can drain from those warehouses would bring coin and profit back to us. If we can get them coming and going, it would do this dynasty a great favor. Hmm. Even if the main road is open, there is a question of how to end the war itself in its entirety. Beaumain still has a rundown keep in the forest, but the terrain is in his favor. He will undoubtedly try to strike at merchant caravans as soon as they start their work again. We need to come up with a contingency for this. One way of thinking Save we could save sky. manpower for a sky, but we could encircle them mm. and simply siege them out. Possibly, but precisely. That is the problem. But we would have the main road, would we not? They have been in the forest for some time. They have a better scope. I have a guide that may be of assistance, but they are wonders. They may be able to lead a contingency through. I do not know. It also brings up the issue of you're besieging in the middle of a forest with all sorts of detritus around it, orcs, banditry, and other such things, and of course the threat to the north of Apex. If the Royal Baron is to be dealt with, he has to be dealt with swiftly one way or another. He can't be left to linger out in the woods. He must be driven out, captured, or killed. I've also heard this keep has potential secret exits and entrances that they could use to bring supplies in. If we were to siege it, it would take a very long time. <coughs> Answers my question, seeing as if we were intending to delegate any of our soldiers, would we be out there for weeks, months, years, trying to dig that man out of his keep? Forever, Kyla's word is to be believed. My greatest concern, however, is for the successful manpower that you have provided, the Imperium has shown, at least in the earlier stages of the full-on conflict, that there is a difficulty in forest and wooded combat with the Imperium. If this keep is enshrouded with these dense trees, then it might prove difficult for the Imperium to successfully navigate. Baron Kovas, Baron Amendment, it is wholly up to you to decide what the state of the keep you want it in and the surrounding area. 
If you want the forest gone, burn it. If you want the keep reduced to ashes, siege it with mortars. We have the possibilities, but yes, the Imperium cannot fight in wooden areas well. If you wish to send your mercenaries and lacking military to go get the camp or the keep, by all means, I implore you. There are ways to finish it quickly and ways to do it <coughs> slowly. Would we be able to burn the forest without it spreading too close? There is a possibility. How much of your own province, my barons, are you willing to destroy for this to be done quickly? That is my How concern. long are you willing to wait for a Dasko Bermain's head to be on a pike? My barons. The longer he lives, the longer he needs he to be arrested a and brought before the barons for proper judgment. If he's killed in the field, he'll be a martyr. If he's kept he would have passed to the mortar fire, Lord Odhart. All I will say to this, my barons. Is that the people living outside of Nodish are disillusioned already? I need not speak on the other towns. If more of the land that they live in continues to get ravaged by war, the places that they hunt, that they gather lumber, that they exist in, they're going to turn their eye towards the throne. I, in fact, have correspondence from the Robber Baron himself to the people of Belerno. I have it here if you'd like to read it, but it basically outlines the fact that the Robber Baron is apologizing for not being able to fix the issues of Belerno, and he asks them to surrender peacefully to the Redords. The people of Belerno themselves have responded, saying, and I quote, they would rather burn the city to the ground than surrender to the Redords. This was found in the Imperial Siege Camp. Sorry, forgive me. The Radod, the Robber Baron Siege Camp, outside the Embassy. They were trying to burn it. <clears throat> for this. I would also like to make a point on this mortar fire, on this keep. The Robber Baron has been preparing for this war for potentially years up until this point. There is probably untold equipment and supplies in that keep. If we burn it to the ground, then we lose that. The Lady Heidemann did bring something up upon her rescue and return, as there could be a war chest with a great deal amount of coin. The last thing we want to do is have it buried in rubble. <clears throat> this is true. None such thing exists at Telor. It's too close to the border. There are other enemies that don't like the Robber Baron. No, he would keep it. And the only place he knows would be very, very safe, which would be his keep in the woods. Perhaps. But he still has to pay his men. There has to be something it there. It is true. I would think there are some coffers up at the top library. I only was in there a few short times. I was only allowed in there under guard. Why have a guard in the library? There are no windows. No way to get out. My belief was to prevent it, you from... Forgive me, but for taking your own life. Because if you were gone, then mm. they wouldn't have a reason to stop. Yes. Next time I will try to beat myself over the head with a book. Forgive me, I jest. No, but I, think I I've come do to believe a there might be something conclusion there. For our issue in our issue for the fortress in the forest. Lord Odhart, you spoke, you said they would likely, I'm not guaranteeing, they would likely have tunnels, if not passageways, that they're able to funnel supplies in and out of the keep, yes? I've heard rumors, I have nothing concrete though, my baron. Are you able to perhaps act upon these rumors, investigate further, seeing as the, op the options of mortar fire and the burning of the forest would only make for the rise, and then if anything, we'll have a second robber baron. It could be risky, but 
We have scouts that know the area. That might be a good show of force, Aaron. Remember, when Adasco believed he had the upper hand, he felt comfortable after you gave him your word that he would meet with you to speak under a flag of truce. But he rode right up to the walls of Norris. Perhaps the same should be done to him. My thoughts exactly. While that meeting takes place, my son and any agents he takes with him can try and find these entrances, if they exist. It is the only probable way I see of taking that keep with out wasting time, money, and men. The biggest concerns are the nobles, as Gonta said. They're starting to get irate and say things to Gonta concern. I'm sure Gonta has more. With the lack of coin coming in, they are very much irate. And they are willing to look elsewhere to put their coin in, mainly the Vipex. I've also heard such things during my meetings with a few of the minor nobles, too. I've shut them down where possible, but the fact remains it is still an issue. Disillusionment is real during these sorts of conflicts. What would stop it in its tracks? An example, or bringing trade back as soon as possible? Trade. That oh, road must be opened. Trade. Then that should be our priority after this meeting. All the examples we want, there'll the always be someone willing to try and rebel. We'll have to think about Balerna at some point. Another topic for another time. If we can cut yes. it off from the main force, then... <sighs> They'll have no fallback point. They'll have to surrender eventually. If not peacefully, if we use the cannons by land and sea. To take out at least the tops of the towers, so their crossbowmen have no vantage points over us. It should hopefully make the walls a little less... soaked in blood. We cannot risk destroying the walls. I agree. Not too much effort was put Agreed. into it. I feel like we're going to need them in the future. But with the orc threats and whatnot. Yes. Heed my words, everyone. Telenor Keep must stand as long as the Vapex overlooming threat exists and. As the Lady Heidemann has suggested, has reminded me, our orc problem has not shirked. I need to bring something up before the Council with your permission, Barons. Given. <clears throat> as you all know, I spent a majority of the last two weeks inside of the embassy in an attempt to slow the robber baron's advance with the siege equipment present. Our thought process was thusly. If the siege weapons could not make it with an effective range of the walls, then the robber baron, whatever it was that he planned, would not be able to besiege the city. But we found out that was the case. But there were a few things that happened during the siege that was out of the ordinary, my baron. Causes for concern. First of all, the provisions my men had were poisoned. The foodstuffs and the waters. Twenty-something men were killed to this underhanded tactic, not to combat itself, but in the first few nights of the sieges, they were poisoned by their own meals. Cowards. At first, I believed that this was the doing of the robber baron. 
But I'm a paranoid man who has had many underhanded enemies over the course of my life. And before this started, we took stock of what it was that we were able to take with us. And every single bit of rations we had were from the Radard army camp. We carried what we could bring. Everything was tested beforehand by the cooks. No one perished, no one grew sick. That means that these things were poisoned whilst we were inside of the embassy itself. One of the men there was a turncoat that I believe was working for the robber baron. I witnessed him killing one of my lieutenants in the midst of the combat that took place there. There were a number of men fighting alongside him that seemed to be odd. I didn't quite put it together until after the siege started to quiet and pressure was taken off of us because of the Imperial advance. The other officers there that were part of the shock troopers assisted me in my evaluation of these men fighting alongside the traitor. A small cloth is placed on the table. Baron Kovaz, as you open it up, you see a small ornate ring. One of the men that was in the robber baron's colors had this ring still on his finger, worn, bronze, depicting an imperial skull. There were men dressed as the robber baron soldiers that for whatever reason had imperial paraphernalia made an attempt on my life and that of my officers. I'm not sure what to make of it, but I need the council to be aware. I do not think Adasco Beaumain would use poison, either. That is all my burn. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord Adar. He speaks true. Even when we were boys. As much as you and I detest that man, you would never resort to it. Never. It would go against what he has been saying. Yes. Major, do you have anything yes. to comment? <clears throat> Baron Kovars, if you think of me as a man who would send men to kill Lord Odhart, the very man I instructed to hold the embassy against the robber baron, then I am deeply hurt you think of me as a fool. Perhaps Lady Heidemann can discuss the matter with your brother, and I can speak with you one-on-one, -on -one, Kovars. Is not insinuating an attempted assassination by you. What I'm wondering is that there has been a history of overzealous members. That I just want to make sure. Covers. She's a baron. Major, not in one one. The man is a baron. You'll refer to him I'm as aware. such. He Major. is a baron. And show some fucking respect in the small council meeting. We'll discuss at a later date, Baron Kovacs. Please, it is time. We call this meeting to an end. I sense yes. that tensions are a tad high. Our plan Let is clear. Let me make one thing clear, though, Baron. I do not suspect that the Major is involved with whatever it was that that was. That is not my intent. No, I agree with you Of as course. Well. The man is a I did not believe it. I did not believe he was responsible directly. Not an assassin. But you are the figurehead that is present here, along with Lady Ladia. I just wanted you to be able to address the concerns. 
I see. Is that all? Yes. That will be all. Good. This meeting is concluded. Thank you all. Lords, ladies. Thank you, Barris. <clears throat> On. Yes. When I was riding back from the woods, after the front line had pushed up up to the siege camp, I was attacked by a group of crossbowmen. We couldn't see them. The only reason I survived is because Marcus took the shot for me. They used fine steel. It shouldn't have been Robert Baron then. The front line had pushed up way too fast that. This might have something to do with you were about it. Yes. Behind the Imperial line. Yes. I would bring that up to the Major. He knows. He hasn't done anything. When you have a moment, Baroneman. Yes, my dear Edmund. If you and I have our separate conversations, brother. I bid you all well. I have a few more things to say. And then I will be done here. It is well, my lady. Okay. Have a good shot, Edmund. If you excuse me, I have a war to win. Let me know when you want us to win it for you. Speak about Major. <laughs> Don't get cocky, boy. Well, let us know when you want our conscripts. Well, there's one person then. who has been doing. If there's anyone who's been showing their ass this morning, it is yourself, Major. I don't know what's crawled mm. up it and died, other than your pride and dignity. But it's starting to stink the entire small council meeting. You should tread lightly, shame. because I do not think whoever it is would stop at just trying to kill me. What do you mm. think will happen if you disappear? In any case, I have things to attend to. I trust my brother. I'm already aware that people within the Imperium want me to disappear, Lord Odard. I'm not afraid of the snakes in this very this room. Is being afraid, you fool. And everything to do with being aware of your surroundings, not looking for an extra bit of ire. I am acutely aware of it, Lord Odhart. The question is, are you of yours? Somewhere behind I'm the only one actively digging myself a grave with the very dynasty I'm here to assist. Mm. I'm trying to dig the Empire into an unscapable grave as well. We're in the same boat. For one moment, can you throw aside your fucking putrid personality and just hear your interactions with these nobles that will dictate what happens to the both of us? Baron Amem is the only noble man here, Lord Erdha. I'm sure you're aware of what Kovas is. tired of his interactions with you. He longs for Major Tobman. He is concerned you're going to fly off the handle. Let him believe what he wants, Lord Erdhard, but until the Bredod military is back up to standing stature, if the Imperium leaves, the Fapex move down here, and this province is overrun with orcs. Don't you see it? If we leave, Listen to me, this place goes fool. to ash. Listen to me. When we were dealing with your radicalists before you arrived, there was a man there, a sergeant, that fled to the vineyard and attempted to send a message. That message was addressed to the High Inquisitor. I'm aware Those of this and see. Only go to Palamon. That is where the owner of the vineyard is from. Palamon. Why would an Imperial send a message to the Inquisition to Palamon? Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, answer me why the Radicalists are currently in bed with the Pax. It's not Radicalists, you fool. It's I'm just the, the Imperial. No! You're the Radicalist to them. The people who have been sent here on successes. 
You don't need to tell me what I already know, Lord Earthheart. We're wasting breath at this point. You know, Doriel, I'm starting to realize that's a guess. Hmm. I will see you outside the clinic for muster. Oh, you will. Of all the fucking piss nights. Him. Can he not see what's right in front of us? Maybe the truth Did is too hard for him. On the chopping block? He's going to be replaced with someone far worse. And the next people in charge, my son, are inquisitors. Inquisitors that don't like the major. How can he gloss over that? A letter to the High Inquisitor going to the next county. I think they want the Vapex to invade. I think everyone here, Puriel wise, is meant to die. I think they're cleaning up their own ranks. That Inquisitor included. That masked one. I. Hmm. They're eccentric and strange. And the behaviors. I don't trust them. If they are. I also don't think they're trusted by their own kind. If they're cleaning house. Does that really matter to us? Aside from what's happening here, but like, I'd rather have them fight each other than fight us when it we does. don't know where we need to go. Because if the Vapex come here and take over, they're going to kill the Redont. And the Vapex could very much say, yes, of course. Take those nobles. We're only in the position we're in because the Redots need us. Once they stop needing us, we're in trouble. So this just definitely reinforces the point we don't want Imperial soldiers at Telor Keep after we take it. Yes. Yep. And we have to make a point, which is why I'll be coming with you to Telor. Come on. I haven't fought side by side in a while. It has been some time. It's going to be hard sell for these conscripts on. Fighting in open war and battles and such is one thing, but a siege like this, breaking tell or keep... Uh, they're our friends. I love our friends. I like to think that we have made so little progress because of how much we love our friends. We've done everything we can to help them. We've bled for them, we've almost died for them, my son. Yeah. I'm not a grotty. This is not my home. I have no attachment to it. My home is east. Your home is east. This place is the past. We're going to have to do things that are hard. Difficult. But if not us, who? They chanted the family name following you, not me. You're a leader. You're a lord. You're my son. Then on to tell or keep. It's not like we lead from the rear, my boy. No. We're at the front like we always do. God, you should have seen when we took the uh, cross keys. 
My conscripts went up there, climbed the walls, fought the archers, went into the cross keys, cleared it out, went outside and there were imperial people holding up the uh, side building and they had the audacity to say, oh, nice of you to arrive. <laughs> they were adopting the same mentality as the major. It's like how dog owners start to look like their dog or vice versa. To be fair, Some they... things you should not say out loud, my son. Well. To be fair, they did lose a lot of their f comrades into this street. I... Even for me, I that was... I we mm. But it is a terrible way to die. Yes. When do we muster? Now. I'll go get my armor. There's one thing that Doria was right about. It's that the longer we take, the more time they have to shuttle things out of the keep. I'll meet you by the clinic. Cleaning. I wish I had an, sir, some hands to help me. I mean, I can, I can talk about it. I get, I got other workers, I can tell, like, you have a lot of positions to fill these things. Everything okay? Uh, I'm probably here. I'm in. Yeah, I have to go get my armor. Good work. Hmm? Good work. They, they've been sending out volunteers to go fight. So. Yeah. Your. Eh? If you want to get a word in, I would suggest doing so now. I don't know if they're gonna do that today or not. I'll have to talk to you in a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if they let you because you know. You were looking for. Well, I mean, they've been talking about making slaves use. Dredge. I'd better bring it myself. I was looking for you. Do we not? Mm. Less invasive. I swear to I'm God, you lied to me about know. there being a fight today. Hey, I... It's not my fault or something bad. I have to go inside. Yeah, I heard Your stuff. Do I just follow you? Trying to make sure you're, you know, ready. Because they... Good. Uh, you can keep him safe. You know how I'm coming to you. Galeo? Find no roof again if I get, get on the back. It looks pretty uncomfortable. I mean, you Come on. could go change right now. Because I think I'll have things for you towards the evening. Understood. DM notes, players. DM note. It is at this time the town criers would start moving through Nautis and saying that there is a mustering outside of the clinic. Armor up. That all volunteers oh. and all capable yes. fighters respond to the call. Oh, good to see you. Oh, good. Good. Hmm. Talk to you in a bit, then, I guess. Indeed. You'll have to forgive me. I've been from Esma's border all the way through near the Badlands three times now. Oh, oh wow, okay. Sorry to stop you. <laughs> If you want some oh, tea, we're, I got some. <coughs> Bad bar, okay. a variety, you know. Be right back, chat. Yeah, <laughs> or, or a walk, or a trek. <laughs> Try sprinting. <laughs> we appreciate your service, sir. I'll be with you again shortly. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead. 
be fine. I always like having Kyle around. Yeah. I hear he's older than the trees. Or Some something. Oh, God. It's like thousands of years old. Mm, I... He fought in the drought wars. That's like before there were trees. Which is um, a very there, was there was trees. 